Hi. In this video, we're going to look at the effectiveness of Dr. Allen's treatment for kidney stones. Fine treatment receives positive feedback from customers all around the globe. Richard from Britain, who has had kidney stones for about one year, has been wearing the device for four months, and he had this to say. So far, no reoccurrences, touch wood. I've had the odd twinge, particularly in cold, damp weather, but okay at the moment. And Marina from Australia, who suffered for 26 years from kidney stones in both kidneys. She used the device for a year and said, I feel much better now. We're going to hear about a patient who had a large stone in his left kidney and it dissolved completely after two years of wearing Dr. Allen's device for a kidney care. It's a remarkable illustration of a great new treatment that doctors in the UK did not believe would work. They took the patient to the operating theatre. Surgeons were astonished to find that there were no more stones in his kidneys and the operation was cancelled. This case shows that people who suffer with kidney stones can avoid unnecessary medication, shockwave therapy, lithotripsy and surgery. A new treatment developed by Dr Simon Allen has no equivalent in the past, nor is there anything similar today. This unique treatment is based on his research, The Origin of Diseases, which determines that the growth of a new tissue on capillary level increases pressure inside the affected organ, causing its disease. This means that for treatment of the damaged organ, you need to relieve this pressure inside its tissue. Thus, Dr Allen's device was created. Fine treatment receives many letters from satisfied customers from the USA, Australia, Europe and Asia, and of course, from Britain, confirming kidney stones dissolving. Here are some documents from the surgeries in Bromley and King's Hospital London. They confirm the disappearance of a large kidney stone under the influence of thermobalancing therapy enabled by Dr. Anna's therapeutic device. Document 1, dated October 1999, from a surgery in Bromley, which confirms that a patient, Simeon A, had a huge kidney stone, which, on an intravenous urogram, could even be considered as transitional cell tumours. Document 2, dated the 6th of March 2000. This verifies that the computed tomography has shown a large renal calculus, which, according to the opinion of the consultant urologist, may require surgical treatment. Document 3, dated the 23rd of March 2000. Consultant urologist states, Given the size of the stone, I imagine that the percutaneous fornephrostomy would be the best course of action. Document 4, dated May 2000. A report from the Department of Urology at King's Hospital states that big calculite is affecting most of the left pelvic and calyx. The urologist proposed that the patient may develop obstructive symptoms. However, he stated, we will see the patient again after an IVU in six months' time. The patient stated, all consultant urologists were insisting a surgical operation was needed, but he refused to undergo any surgery as he'd started wearing Dr. Allen's thermoelements device. The natural treatment worked slowly, but he'd already started to experience relief after only two to three weeks. Blood in his urine disappeared after three to four months. Then, on a few occasions over the next year and a half, he felt that small pieces of stone, like grains of sand, were being passed through his urine. After that time, he wore the device only at night. Though Semyon felt well in the beginning of 2003, he was invited to the Department of Urology at the King's Hospital where after an intravenous urogram, consultants explained that kidney stones were still in his left kidney and insisted they be removed with minimal invasive surgery. Under pressure from urologists, Semyon agreed to have an operation, bearing in mind that it would be minimal invasive through the use of laparoscopic techniques. However, he was still worrying as it's known that even a small amount of damage to the kidney can lead to big health problems in the future. The doctors placed him on an operating table and sedated him. Against their expectations, a pre-op x-ray test revealed that the stones had dissolved and cancelled the operation. When Semyon awoke after general anaesthesia, he was wonderfully surprised to find out that his body was untouched. He realised that Dr. Allen's device for kidney care had done a great job and dissolved his large kidney stone naturally. He tried to explain to the doctors the magnificent effectiveness of Dr. Allen's thermoelements, but nobody listened as they were too busy preparing for other patients for surgery. Document 5, dated July 2003 from the GP. It states that the patient wanted to know the results of his treatment at King's, where he was due to have the stone removed, but his own self-treatment had helped him. So that's it, one of Dr. Allen's amazing treatment records. Now it's for you to decide what to choose. 
damaging lithotripsy or shockwave therapy, any type of even more damaging surgery or natural Dr. Allen's therapeutic device, which dissolves kidney stones naturally and is free from any side effects. Thanks for watching.